Before we start the video, there's something I have to tell you. Honey jelly or frozen honey or syrup is not good for you. You need to leave. Content is content, so let's keep going. I bought seven different bottles of different drinks that we're gonna try and replicate into a honey jelly and see if they turn out uh, pretty good. For the bottle we're gonna be making in this video, we're just gonna be making them as easy as possible. Here's the first bottle that we're gonna turn into honey jelly or jelly. Mix it with things that will replicate these drinks the most. First, this one is strawberry lemon. So we're gonna try and replicate that. For this one, I'm gonna be using clear corn syrup. First, let's taste the drink and try and replicate the flavor it tastes most like. Even though it says strawberry lemonade, sometimes it has an extra flavor to it. It tastes like lemonade, I don't taste the strawberry, but we're gonna try and replicate it. Whoops, oh no. Our table, it's broken. Here are the flavors that I have that I'm gonna try and mix to replicate some of these drinks that I got. I got some edible glitter. Stuff was really expensive. So we're gonna use this one. Oh yeah! Lemonade, and we're gonna use Skittle strawberry. We're going to add the Skittle strawberry to the cup. And then we're gonna be adding oh, yeah. lemonade. I'm hoping it makes a pink color because we're trying to replicate the color and the flavor. And for some reason, it's not getting the color we want. I think we should have mixed it with water first. So we got a little bit of water and we're gonna try and see if we can unlock the color this way. Even though we're trying to add the least amount of water to the mixture because if we add too much water, then the honey jelly will not work. See the difference? The water unlocks the flavor. Or I mean the flavor. It unlocks the color. We need to add a tiny bit of water. I'm also not tasting these, by the way. I'm not gonna taste them until the final result. So I'm gonna try and replicate them. Basically, it's a challenge to see if I can actually replicate the flavor and then taste it later. I know we're supposed to taste it to see if it tastes like it, but I'm not gonna taste it until I'm done. I'm not gonna lie though, it does smell really good. See, that looks pink, right? Doesn't it? Can you see it? We're gonna put the mixture inside the bottle. There we go, there's the mixture. We're gonna add more syrup to it. Uh, this is just for now. We're gonna fill up the bottle, just not right now, so that when we're done, we're able to squeeze it out. But right now, we're gonna leave it like this because I think we might run out of uh, syrup and I'm gonna have to go to the store to buy some more. Now for the next bottle, let's go with Code Red Mountain Dew. I don't really remember how this tastes like, so let's see how it tastes. Kool-Aid? Cherry? Yeah. Kind of? To replicate this flavor, we're gonna add some cherry and we're gonna add some Gatorade Glacier Cherry. Now we're gonna mix the mixture with a tiny bit of water. It smells really good to be honest. Okay, and we're also gonna be adding some of the glitter I mentioned earlier, just to give it that extra sparkle when we squeeze it out. Okay, so now we're gonna add some clear syrup. Now we'll just mix the mixture up again. I think I might have added too much water, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but oh, we're gonna try our best to make it work. Okay, so the mixture is now done. Let's add it to the bottle. And there you go. Once again, we're still gonna fill it up, just like this for now because I'm probably gonna run out of syrup and I'm gonna have to run to the store just to refill these bottles. Now for the next drink, Coca-Cola. But I really don't have anything to kind of replicate this drink, so we're gonna do our best to just make it taste like a soda. I mean, I could buy candy to kind of replicate it, but I'm trying my best to make this as easy as possible. For this one, I'm just gonna be using root beer. That's as close as I can get to kind of making it, I, I'm, I'm just doing it for the color, basically, because I, I can't replicate it that easy unless I have like an actual like powdered form of it. Let me add a little bit of water. And now we're gonna add the glitter just to give it that fizzy effect that, uh, you know, soda has. Kinda looks like soda, right? It looks kinda fizzy. Now for this one, we're gonna be using a dark corn syrup. That way we don't gotta add any food coloring to it because it's already a dark syrup. See, it already looks like soda, doesn't it? And there we go, now we just add it to the bottle. That's how you make the Coca-Cola. And now we're gonna try and do a black water drink. It's just water. You know what, let's make it fun, you know? Let's add some cherry glazier. And we'll just add some dark corn syrup to it. Okay, so we're adding some food coloring to this one just to make it darker. Now we're just gonna add it to the black water bottle. There we go, we're still gonna fill it up. We're just putting it here. Now for the next one, we're gonna be doing a green Gatorade. Before we taste the flavor, it is lemon cucumber. 
Okay, let's try and replicate that flavor. I do have a green Skittles flavor packet of pixie dust. I don't know. For this one, I'm gonna be using a jello packet because it's lime. Okay, now that looks way too green. As long as it tastes good, right? But I am trying to replicate it. So it's gonna taste like lime. I don't know how to replicate the cucumber flavor. Now let's add some clear corn syrup to it. Kind of does look like jello, you know? It's greener than it was supposed to be, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's try this mystery flavor. It's called Mountain Dew Voodoo. It's like a, not transparent, but it's kind of of a foggy color. That was easy, it's cherry. We're just gonna be using this cherry glazier. We'll use two packets. One, two. Now we just keep mixing it until it's properly dissolved and that should be good right there. We're gonna be using clear syrup again. Fill that up. It looks perfect, right? It looks kind of foggy. You can't really see through my face, can you? No, let's put it in the bottle. Now for the last drink, Mountain Dew Blue Frostbite. I've tried this many times. Oh my God, but I what is that? What it tastes like. Blueberry. To try and replicate its flavor, we're gonna go with Blue Lemonade Kool-Aid. And yeah. hopefully this kind of takes more over the flavor. This is Blue Hawaiian Punch. Once again, gonna add a little bit of water. We added the uh, Blue Hawaiian Punch and now we're gonna add Blue Lemonade Kool-Aid. It's not the right kind of blue I was trying to go for. Just to add some sparkle, we're going to add some more glitter. Or not some more, we're gonna add some glitter to this one too. Now we're gonna add some more clear syrup and now we just put it in our bottle kind of looks like toothpaste doesn't it here are the bottles we're gonna fill all of them up with more syrup and then obviously we're gonna shake them so that they're well incorporated but here's the bottles I'm gonna fill them up with more corn syrup so we'll just fill up all the bottles so they're almost all filled up the only ones I didn't have enough syrup for were the coca-cola and the black water but that's fine they're boring colors anyway I'll just freeze them upside down and all the other ones should be good so now we're just gonna throw them in the freezer until tomorrow hopefully they're done by tomorrow it's now the next day I saw the footage from yesterday and I kind of look tired but you know what I'm awake now so I'm good I did have a cameraman yesterday and I'm very shy so um maybe that was the issue I don't know I'm gonna go with black water first. I'm gonna go with the ones I didn't fill up entirely. I don't remember what I put in it. I have short-term memory loss. I think I put Gatorade see-through cherry and uh, regular brown syrup. Here we go. Oh, it worked. You see that? It's actually not that bad. It tastes like cherry, but you know, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of cherry, only because um, when I was a little kid, um, my mom would give me medicine and it was always cherry flavor. Don't have fond memories about that. I mean, it tasted better than the actual dark water, so yeah. So now I'm gonna taste this one. Mountain Dew Voodoo. I don't think this one's in stores anymore. Since it's not October, I don't think you're gonna be able to find it. It tastes like cherry. Um, it tastes like medicine to me. I feel like my hands are getting frostbite. Here's the other one I wasn't able to fill up the whole way. I was able to make it before, but I was in a rush and I wasn't able to make it. So it's root beer, but it does look like soda, you see? Look at that. I did put glitter on this one, but for some reason you can't really see it. I also do not like root beer. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like root beer tastes like, like mint. Now let's try the Mountain Dew frostbite. It looks like toothpaste. It doesn't look all that good. Oh, I, I. this one's way too sour. I don't know why. Um, this one's actually pretty good. Kind of sour. I didn't even add any citric acid in it. I don't know why. I think it might be the most prettiest one though. All right, now we're going to do the code red. We tried our best to replicate it. Let's see if it actually tastes how the original bottle tastes. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks beautiful. See, it actually worked. Mmm, it tastes like cherry. Oh, I think this one might have Kool-Aid, I don't remember, because it's actually sour. Why are they so sour? I, did, I, I, I didn't put any uh, citric acid in it. Here's Sunkissed Strawberry Lemonade. This one had Kool-Aid Lemonade and uh, Strawberry Skittles, but is it any good? Oh, this one kind of looks like a slushy. I think I might've put too much water on this one. Look it, it feels like it's gonna be a little crunchy. But why are they, why are they sour? All the really sour ones were the ones that had Kool-Aid packets in it. I don't really drink Kool-Aid, but it's Kool-Aid sour. And last but not least, the green Gatorade. I, 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 I obviously didn't have cucumber flavor, so we just put a jello lime in it. Is it good? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of lime flavor, but I'm also not a big fan of jello. 
Oh, you know what? It worked. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah! Lightsaber. <laughs> you know, it actually smells like cucumber, but it has no cucumber. I guess it's probably the smell of the bottle. You know what it kind of tasted like? Have you guys tried this candy? Can you see it? Dots? Well, anyways, there was no green one in there, but it tastes like those candies. It tastes like the green one. And I don't really like those candies. This one was just not good. But it wasn't bad either. It was... How do I say? It was tolerable. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching. Also, I just saw I hit a million subscribers. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, so... um. I also ran a poll to see what everybody wanted to watch, and I was a bit surprised that everybody wanted to watch more honey jelly videos. I actually pretty thought everybody was sick of them, even though I didn't really make many uh, videos for it. More, It was more of shorts. I'm most likely gonna make a few more videos on honey jelly. I just gotta get a bit more creative on them. But yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, because um, it gives me serotonin. Anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe, you're all awesome. Thank you for getting me to a million. It's a dream come true. It's all thanks to you guys. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you.